Um, in 2007, I had bacterial meningitis and was at home alone. And what, I, my fever got so high, I was convulsing. And so I broke vertebrae in my back. And so they put what they called body cement in there, but the pain never went away. And it started going down my leg really badly. So I went to see this pain control doctor and he did a series of injections in my spine that lasted for about six months. It began to hurt again real bad. So I went back and instead of doing the same treatment, he did a different treatment. It did absolutely no good, but he couldn't explain to me why. Uh, it was horrible. They had me on Vicodin for months on end. And I went in one day and I said, you know, this stuff is really upsetting, beginning to upset my stomach. And the PA said, well, I can give you morphine. I said, no, I don't want morphine. I said, I just want my stomach to quit hurting. I want to be able to eat again. And she said, well, that's all I can offer you is morphine. That's the last time I was in there. I said, if that's, if that's all you're going to do is drug me up and make me feel so crummy, I might as well feel crummy on my own. Boy, I, uh, I, uh, oh gosh, uh, maybe 20, maybe 20, I would say, over the course of five years, because I kept trying different things, different treatments. One doctor would say, well, we're going to do this, and it's really going to help. One doctor, well, we're going to do this, we're going to change from the steroids to hormone injections, and then it just went back and forth and back and forth until... It was just, it was ridiculous. Um, I quit socializing with my friends. I cut off all ties. I was just in such pain and so depressed all the time. I, quit, I couldn't drive. And my right leg drugged behind me like it was just dead. And um, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't, we couldn't, you know, go to the mall and shop. We couldn't do anything, and it was it was horrible. I, I, I got so depressed, I thought, why live if this is the way it's going to be? And had I not come in here, I, I don't know what would have happened, but I just couldn't take the pain anymore. And my husband found Dr. Cochran. Um, he drove past one day and saw the office and stopped in and talked to folks. And he said, I want you to go see this man. And I'm so glad I did, because it's made a world of difference. Um, I felt comfortable. I was scared to death the first day, scared to death the first day. But after the office staff and doctor, meeting doctor, completely at ease and glad to be back because I've been on vacation, so I've missed a session or two. So I'm glad to be back. I couldn't feel cold. I couldn't feel anything. And I never really knew it. And that's why the leg drug behind me is because I really didn't have any feeling in it. And was, I, it was, I was in so much pain all the time that, that that didn't even play into the issue. I didn't even notice it. And then when I came in here and, and he started putting cold stuff on me and I couldn't feel anything. It was revealed that it, they were working on the wrong thing. It was actually the nerves in my brain that were, when I, maybe through the meningitis, I don't know, they never uh, got back to work properly and uh, it was causing the pain in my leg, which was actually in my brain. Uh, and I was so surprised by that because here I'd had everybody say, oh, well, you're just going to have to you know, have surgery, you're going to have to do this, you're going to have to do that. Uh, and uh, Dr. Kukrin found it right away, and he knew exactly what to do. He started treatment right away, and uh, within just a couple of, two or three weeks, I started feeling better. I started feeling more like myself, which was a relief, because after five years of, you know what, that was a big relief to me. Yeah. 
And then when the doctor started working on me, why well, it it subsided substantially. I swim now. I drive. I uh, clean my own house. I do everything I ever did, and my leg actually has feeling in it. <laughs> And if you could just um, give me your name and state that you allow us to use your testimonial. My name is Joni Anderson and I definitely allow you to use this as a testimonial.